Hey friends, Disney fans, welcome back. Got another set review for you. This one is pretty awesome. I'm a big fan of this one. This is, okay, brace yourself. This is a long name. Disney 100, Peter Pan and Wendy's Flight Over London. It is a long name. Uh, I don't know why they just didn't call it the Flight Over London. It's a lot cooler of a name. It's from Peter Pan, the original 1953 awesome film that definitely holds up, in my opinion. It's like top uh, I have a lot of favorite Disney films. It's in the top 10, definitely top 5, 5 or six, I don't know. It's in there, it's in there. Anyway, this is a cool set. I went to the Lego store to get this because I couldn't find it anywhere else, which was really frustrating. I do think it's a bit overpriced. It's 60 bucks for just over 400 parts. It is a bit expensive. It's the Disney set. It's the Disney tax. It's definitely high with this one. Um... But you do get some great minifigs, and the build itself is very colorful. It's very bright, which I like. That's one of the reasons why I got it. I love the color scheme. It's very different from a lot of the sets I have um, visually. And yeah, I'm a big fan of Peter Pan, the film, the first Disney film. I haven't seen the sequels. I've heard they're good. You know, whatever. I just love the first one, and then I, I do like the Pan uh, live-action film, and there's some other ones that are great, but... Yeah, here's the set. Um, it doesn't really have any features. There's no play features, I guess. It's not like that. It's a display diorama, which is really cool. I do have, I guess, a couple complaints with it. We'll get to those near the end, but um, I'll show you the minifigs first. Why not? Because they're amazing. We get three of them. I'll start with the best one, in my opinion, which is Wendy Darling here. Uh, she is exclusive to the set, so that's great. And she has a new hairpiece and a great couple of faces and the great nightgown and the light blue. And it's very nicely printed. I feel like they could have definitely printed on her dress, the front of it, but yeah, it's whatever. It's not that big of an issue. She has a couple faces, a smirk and a smile there. And uh, yeah, she definitely is a, a great minifig, especially the hair. The hair really makes it awesome. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the bow, the blue bow, which is kind of lame. But, you know, it's, it's just getting Wendy at all is awesome. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of Wendy. Um, and, yeah, this is my favorite fig. I know it's not, like, she's not the best one. But, yeah, I know that she's just, I can't gush enough about that one. Um, we've got Peter Pan up next. Now this one's not definitely not as detailed as the uh, the original minifig that came in series one. Um, that one's definitely better, but I like this one a lot. It's definitely not as detailed, but it is good. It's got the green pants, green shirt, the cool cap, the head head and ha hat piece are the same. It's got back printing as well, uh, the sleeves as well. You know he's just not as. Um, He's not as uh, well-designed, I feel like, but it is a nice fig for sure. I like the face. I like the, the cap with the ears and the hair. It's very accurate. It's just not as detailed as that original one. But uh, to have Peter Pan at all is great. It's just a, a great character and a great minifig. Probably my least favorite of the set. Not bad. It's just compared to Wendy, I feel like he's fine. He's a good fig for sure. Glad to have him. And then... Probably the standout for most people on this set. I know that Peter Pan and Tinkerbell also come in the, the celebration train, which that was 40 bucks, and that's definitely cheaper, but it looks worse in my opinion. Here's Tinkerbell, amazing minifig. Uh, I never had a Tinkerbell before, so that's great, great character. You could argue she's supposed to be like smaller because she's supposed, supposed to be a fairy. She's not supposed to be like a regular person if that makes any sense anyway she got a great hair piece great face great design with her you know dress and her skirts printed on this time different wings i think the disney castle version is slightly better but i do like this one a lot with this amazing wing piece there is back printing as well and i think the hair piece is the best part of this one and she's got the great face all these have great faces by the way very nice um Tank and Pan do not come with second faces, which I think is a little disappointing on my end. 
But yeah, the Tinkerbell is fantastic. It, it's really awesome to get her. And she's standing on this uh, stand. Or, we'll get to that later. But those are the minifigs. Wendy's the highlight. I mean, I can't say enough good things about Wendy. Um, she's just great looking, like, all around. Anyway, um, here's the set. I'll give you 360. It's compact. Like, if you, if you look at most of the sets on, that I've covered on the channel, this one is smaller. But, that doesn't mean it's bad. People say, oh, a set's small, that means it's terrible. No, no. A set doesn't need to be huge to be awesome. In fact, I have several small sets that I think are awesome, and then they're small. It's it's good and it's bad. It has pros and cons. I think it's good in this case because I'm putting this in a small spot. It's kind of compact and it has a nice um, size to it. You know, if you compare to a hand size, it's fairly large, um, but it's not as huge as it looks on the box. I feel like Lego box art makes sets look bigger and it's kind of misleading in some cases, but this is a great diorama. It does have a really nice display feel to it. That's another thing that drew me to it, because this is the scene where they're flying for the first time over the city of London, and it's just really well built, and it's really well um, designed. Like It has this really nice look to it, and I think that the colors really help this stand out. I'll show you the back. It's really plain, which you would expect. It's just got the stand for Tinker, and then the just some support it's really boring it's the, you would expect this from the back it's not supposed to be shown like this but you know it looks nice um i think the most fun part about this set was building the darling house we'll get to that but as for details we have some decorated parts at the front we've got the two by six flap tile it says disney 100 it is shiny it's just not showing very well but yeah it's a great print this is a complaint. I do wish that they would have given us the a Peter Pan ex, like specific quote. They should have done like, you can fly, you can fly, or like, are we flying? Like something that m matches the scene. I don't, I, I just, I don't know. It's a little bit of a complaint. Um, we'll get to a bigger complaint later. But yeah, this is a great build. It's like on this square platform and it's like all black. And it's it matches a lot of these dioramas that you see from like Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, all the dioramas that they've done. And um, there's even a Jaws one coming out. So they're doing all of these like adult style sets, um, which is really cool. And this again, this is more of a display set. So there's no feature. I guess the only real feature of this set is the glow in the dark elements. It's going to be hard to show you. Yeah, it. I have to do a picture. Because the 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 um the clock faces are printed beautifully with the eight thirty in Roman numerals because that's the time um, that they fly away, and it's really awesome. And they do glow in the dark. These pieces are great. I can't show you, but they do. And then this moon piece over here does glow in the dark. You can kind of see a little bit of a a greenish hue. Um. So yeah, they do work, and they work really well. Um. And yeah, this it's very animated, which is great because that's what you want. This is from the animated film, so you want it to look alive, right? And that's another reason why I wanted it. It just it just has this very pleasant look to it, this great vibe, you know? Um, the whole film does, but I don't know. They did a great job. I wish Disney, I wish Lego would do more Disney sets like this. Maybe this is a, you know... They're testing it to see how well it sells. I do think they should maybe lower the prices for some of these, but you know, this is more like a fifty dollars set. Sixty, and eh, eh, sixty, eh, fifty is better. Even forty five is perfect. But anyway, um, yeah, it's got a lot of cool colors. There's not much to talk about. Like it's, it's just really well like built. You got this like section here with the dark blue. You got lots of stars behind them. The minifigs are floating on these stands, which is really helpful because if they don't have those, they just fall over. So you can angle them however you like. And, you know, it's got lots of nice buildings down here. We've even got, this is funny, people didn't know what this was. It's actually Nana the dog. I don't know if you can tell, that's actually Nana. It's a little friend's puppy piece. And it's like no printing. 
and it's perfect because it matches the whole scene because Nana's outside of the house when they start flying and it's really clever um another clever part is these hair pieces used as trees um that's really a genius uh you've got like these you know street lamps and the the tower bridge right here you've got lots of bridges and the stream that goes you know throughout the whole set and the darling house i think is the best build it looks the nicest it looks so cool like with the windows and the door it's really epic looking in fact maybe i don't want to i don't think i want to take it out i was going to but um i'll just leave it in there it's meant to be there but it's at an angle it looks great um it's very nicely sized you got another house back there um lots of trees lots of these all these like cheese slopes are meant to be houses and it's and honestly it works pretty well it's it's supposed to be this whole set is supposed to be like a forced perspective type where you have everyone flying in the air and then you've got the houses below it works pretty well uh for what they're going for again this is like a diorama piece so it's meant to be looked at you know and it's built really nicely you've got all these different dark blue roofs and you know light blue and you know baby blue and navy blue and dark blue <laughs> there's lots of blue um so if you want a lot of blue pieces this is the set for you um and then lastly the highlight of the set is big ben or in this case it's really it's called the elizabeth tower but it's it's big ben okay we all know it that's that's that so this is really cleverly built it's got all these like crate parts in baby blue and it's like stacked it's really clever you got like sand blue uh you know all of these cheese slopes this is probably the lamest part of this like this is probably the the most boring part because you're building all of these clock faces and these individual little cheese slopes and these little curve parts it's really boring but once you get past it it's really nice and you can angle the clock faces as well and then you've got the top of the big ben tower which looks really nice and then of course you have tinkerbell flying next to it so it looks a little bit out of scale but it's not that part like it's not that bad it's just you have to get used to it it's a little bit off but you know what it's fine but you know that's the entire set i mean again there's not much to like say about it necessarily it just looks really amazing um and that's really all i cared about <laughs> um yeah i'm very happy i got it i i do think the biggest issue is john and michael were not included as figures it's a little it's a little lame but i get it you have to have at least three it's fine it's just something that i would have liked to see so yeah it's very disappointing that's like the most disappointing part um but that's it let me know what you think of the flight over london and what do you think of peter pan in general do you like it or do you not and what do you think of the set do you like it or do you not and um that's it uh i really like the set i'm a big fan and i'm glad i have to have it now big fan of peter pan I i've always been i this it's, it's a great film and um yeah highly recommend it if you're a big fan of peter pan big disney fan if you're a le big lego person you will love this and again the price you know it it, it could have been cheaper but you know it is a great set for what it is so i'm a big fan of this one let me know what you think do you like it or do you not and what do you, what's your favorite disney 100 set and um yeah let me know down below thank you for watching thank you for your support i will see you for the next one and uh Take care. Have a great one.